Hello, everybody, Wednesday night. I wish everybody from Monday was here because I want to explain why at the end of class, class just shut off because I was going to hit the stop recording button and I hit the end meeting by accident. Um, most of you already know that, but why? I have a great excuse, which is my story tonight. So Monday uh, morning, I stepped on a bee, which I do about once a year. Uh, and uh, so my foot was like swelling up and it was looking like a pig foot. So I took some, uh, I took one Advil and uh, one Benadryl. And I, I don't normally like to take those things, but I was just, I was uncomfortable and, and I was gonna do the class. So I did that, but it reminded me of, uh, this was a few years ago. Somehow I managed in one day to step on three bees. I think two of them were actually at once. And uh, I did the same thing. I took some Benadryl and some Advil and I was laying in bed. And then every time I almost fell asleep, I would see this image in my brain of a beehive just going and all the bees running around like the bees had injected their consciousness into my brain through my foot. Um, that didn't happen, but Monday I accidentally disconnected everyone at the end of class. And uh, well, hello, bees. Let's, uh, we'll go do our normal stay seated. Happy Cinco de Mayo. And I'm gonna move back so we can get a start here. Okay. Uh, legs crossed as best you can, even just very lightly. And uh, we're going to do a uh, breathing and arm exercise. So uh, hands initially on the knees, sitting up really tall. We're going to breathe in as we touch the ceiling. We're going to breathe out as we bring the hands down. We're going to breathe in, touching the ceiling. We're going to breathe out, hands back down. And just over and over, the breathing is in the nose. Just drawing it in, pushing it out, listening to the sound of the breath. I like the extension of the lungs on the in-breath when we reach up. It's really good. And hang on a second. Keep on doing that. I forgot to do the mute all. There we go. We are muted. Keep moving the hands. Just a couple more. And up, and we're gonna take the right hand and grab the left knee and the left hand's going behind us. We're pulling the shoulder back. We're gently looking back. We're gonna continue the breathing. Good, let's come all the way over to the other side. Left hand grabs the right knee. Looking back again, continuing the breathing, drawing it in through the nose and pushing it out through the nose. Good, back to center. One more in the seated position, right hand down. Left palm faces the ceiling and comes up and over. And we look along the elbow, straight on up. And we switch the hands, right arm up and over. We'll keep this, uh, we'll call this the standing arm. We'll keep that straight. The hand that is down, that arm, both arms are straight. But there is that feeling like you want to come down further. Let's just keep it straight for now, breathing. Excellent. Back to center. Let's uh, stand. I'm going to move back. We're going to take the feet apart, distance of the hips or shoulders, hands down. Try to keep most of the movement from the hips up 
So, because like this twisting, it can go down into the knees if we get too much beyond the waist. And then just go side to side with the hands and get them real loose. We hold the core, we breathe in the nose. And let's come all the way around. Right hand grabs the left hip, left hand grabs the other hip that's left over there. We're going to pull the shoulder back and look back. Great, and a little more swinging, but mostly in the upper part, in the shoulders and the torso. I mean, the legs are moving, but we just want to limit that somewhat. Isolate. All right, over to the other side, however that worked out. Standing up tall. Great, back to center. Let's put the feet together, big toes touching, ankles a little bit apart. Uh, thumbs out if you like, optional. You could have the hands however you like. And we're gonna do some breathing and moving. We're gonna breathe in as we reach up and look up. We're gonna breathe out as we forward fold, fingers low, legs straight. You could put the hands either on the ground or the shins. We're gonna look up, lengthening the tail through the eyes. And we forward fold again. All the way back up, reaching out and up. We're coming uh, down through the heart center. Breath in on the way back up. Breath out on the forward fold again, fingers low. We look up, flat back. We forward fold up again to the sky. Down through the heart. Breath in, back up. Breath out on the forward fold, fingers low again. We look up, we forward fold, up again to the sky, down to the uh, heart center. Breath in, back up. Breath out, forward folding, fingers low. We look up, flat back. Forward fold again, up to the sky, down through the heart, breath in, back up, breath out, forward folding. We'll look up, tail through the eyeballs, and let's step back to the top of push up, where we're going to tighten the core and the legs and just hang out a second. And then when you're ready, we're going to lower down or drop down, up dog, third eye, legs tight. And then down dog, pulling the hips up, looking at the feet, which are two fists apart. We're going to bend the right leg, push the opposite heel towards down, back and forth. And when you're ready, step or jump, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, flat back. We forward fold. All the way up, sweeping the arms to the sky, back down through the heart center. Breath in on the way back up. Breath out on the forward fold, fingers low. We look up, we're stepping back, top of push up. Lower down, drop down, up dog, and down dog, and nice. We're going to come up on the in-breath, uh, on the toes, and on the out-breath, push the heels down. Or if you prefer, just stay still, looking at the knees with the navel, breathing in the nose. All right, step hop, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, we forward fold, all the way back up to the sky, down through the heart, breath in again on the way back up. 
Breath out on the forward fold, fingers low. We look up, we step back again, top of push up, lower down, drop down, up dog, and down dog. And nice, we're gonna stay right here breathing. You're welcome to rest anytime you want. We're gonna do one more tonight. Walk or jump, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, we forward fold, all the way back up, reaching out and up. We're coming uh, down through the heart center. Breath in on the way back up. Breath out on the forward fold, fingers low. We look up. Step back to tight core and legs, lower and drop, up dog, tight legs, third eye looking, and down dog. Nice, we'll breathe here. Of course, we're welcome to rest, breathing in the nose. Good, let's walk on up to the top of the mat. We're gonna look up, we're gonna forward fold, and then let's just come up with both hands up like, uh, not quite Superman, a little wider and take the feet apart. We're gonna take the right hand and grab the left wrist and pull over to the right. Back to center, switch, left grabs right over to the left. Back to center, arms down, return the feet together, big toes touching ankles apart, top of the mat. Ukatasana is the chair pose, we sit in chair, feet and knees together, ankles apart. Just a little bit. Up over, forward folding again, fingers low. We look up, flat back, we're stepping again, top push up, lower down, drop down, up dog, down dog, Right side, warrior one, right foot steps, left foot turns out, flat, arms up. Those of you that like, can reach that left arm forward so we can turn the torso to the front of the mat. Excellent, touch the ceiling again, and then hands back down, run the vinyasa, lower and down, up dog. Down dog, left foot stepping, right foot turns out, warrior one on the other side. We reach that right arm forward, if you like, totally optional. Good, touch the ceiling, and again, hands back down, step back, lower down, up dog. And down dog, and great. We're gonna breathe here. All right, step hop, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, we forward fold, feet and knees together, sitting in chair. Standing arms down, shoulders back. We'll do a few more. Ukatasana, chair pose. Up over, forward folding, fingers low. We look up, we step back again, top push up, lower and drop. Up dog, legs tight, down dog. Right side, warrior one, back up. Knee over ankle, best you can. Less is okay, more I prefer not. Hands in prayer above the head, lengthening up, looking up if possible. Excellent, hands down again, step back, lower down, up dog, down dog. Left side stepping, right foot turns out. Whoa, back up again, hands in prayer, looking up, lengthening up. Feel the outside edge of your back foot. On the mat, great, hands back down, step back, lower down, up dog, and down dog. 
and nice breathing here. You're welcome to rest. And step top, top of the mat. We look up, we forward fold, feet and knees together, sitting in chair, standing, shoulders back, tight core. Let's do a couple more. Sit in chair. Excellent. Up over, forward fold, and fingers well. We look up, we step back, top of push up, lower down, up dog, down dog. Right side, warrior one, left foot turns out, hands in prayer again above the head, lengthening up. Maybe arching back. Great. Hands back down, step back, lower down. Up dog, down dog. Left side stepping, right foot turns out. Back up, hands in prayer, lengthening up. Maybe arching back. Great, hands back down, step back, lower down. Up dog and down dog. And very nice, breathing here. All right, step hop, top of the mat, toes together. We look up. The forward fold, feet and knees together, sitting in chair, standing arms all the way down, shoulders back. Last one, sit in chair. Good, up over again, forward fold. We look up, we step back, top of push up, lower down, up dog, down dog. Right side warrior one again, left foot turns out, arms up. And then arms in the front with the palms facing the sky. We're breathing in the nose, dropping the shoulders, holding the core. Turn the palms to face, open up, maybe look up. Thumbs and forefingers really opening. Turn the palms to face the ceiling, bring the hands together, lengthen up, maybe arch back. Great, hands back down, step back, lower down, up dog, down dog, left side stepping, right foot turns out, back up again. Once stable, we reach the arms out in the front, palms facing the ceiling, breathing. Turn the palms to face, open up, nice and wide, especially in the hands, especially in the thumbs and the four fingers. Turn the palms to face the ceiling, hand together, lengthening up, arching back. And excellent, hands down again, step back, lower down, up dog, and down dog, and great. We're gonna breathe here. All right, hop on up, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, we forward fold, feet and knees together, sitting in chair. Let's, uh, let's twist tonight. Right elbow outside of the left leg, hands in prayer pulling towards the face, fingers towards the, uh, hands pulling towards the chest, fingers towards the face. Tail pointing straight back, top of the head pointing straight forward just like the space between your feet. Good, let's uh, forward fold for a moment just as they rest. Good, we sit in chair again, and then let's do the other side. Um, 
left elbow outside, right? Hands pulling towards the chest, fingers to the face. Tail running through the spine, straight back, straight forward. All right, forward fold, feet apart, hold the elbows or hold prayer. You could just hang or you could bounce if you like. Engage the core, touch the ceiling, both hands up, peace fingers all the way down, grabbing the big toes, toes pushing the fingers down, elbows pulling away from the ears, breathing here. Engage the core, touch the ceiling, and uh, down again on the out breath. Hands under feet from the front. It's okay to bend the legs. You can pull up on the feet a little bit, reach the top of the head down. And let go and let's stand top of the mat, feet back together, big toes touching, ankles apart, maybe thumbs out. We're gonna take a couple of breaths here, just checking back in. All right, let's sit in chair again. Good, up over forward folding, fingers low. We look up, we step back, uh, top of push up again, lower down. Up dog, down dog, warrior two on the right, right foot steps, arms back up and out over the feet. Light shoulders, tight core, breathing and looking at the right middle finger. And we straight the leg in the front. We're gonna reach out a bit for triangle. Right hand down, left arm up, looking to the reaching hand if it doesn't bother your neck. If you get a chance to look down, you want to see the shin right underneath your nose. And we breathe here. Both hands on the shin for a moment. We'll shorten the stance a couple of inches. And we twist. You can take the back of the hand outside of the leg or just rest it on the leg. Right arm up, gripping the mat in the front with the foot, the big toe down. Lengthen the breath. Lengthen the spine. Excellent. Hands down again. Step back. Lower down, drop down. Up dog. Down dog, left side warrior two. Up again, arms out over the feet, breathing in the nose. And again, straight the leg in the front. We're gonna reach out a bit. Left hand down, right arm up, looking to the reaching hand. Both hands on the shin. Let's shorten the stance a little, a couple few inches. And we twist, right hand remains down, left up, lengthening, breathing. Good. 
Good, hands back down, step back again, lower down, up dog and down dog. We're gonna stay here for a few breaths if you prefer to rest. All right, step hop, top of the mat, toes together. We look up, the forward fold, feet and knees together, sitting in chair, standing arms all the way down. Let's just give it a moment. We can check back in again. And then let's uh, continue. Sit in chair. Good. Up over, forward fold. We look up, we step back, top of push up. Lower down, up dog, down dog, right side warrior two, back up again. We're gonna do extended side angle by taking the center of our right forearm, placing it on just, in, just a little bit in front of the knee or above the knee and then left arm up and over. You could stay here, you could put the right hand on the ground if you prefer. Back to warrior two, you're welcome to keep the back foot flat. You're welcome to come to the ball of the foot as we swing the left arm all the way through, bringing the elbow outside of the leg. Hands in prayer, pulling towards the chest, fingers up to the face. If you want to take it easy, you can put the knee down. We're going to breathe here. All right, hands back down, step back again, lower down, up dog, third eye, down dog, left foot, warrior two, back up. Forearm on the leg like we did before. You could put the left hand down if you prefer. Back up to warrior two again. We'll come to the uh, flat foot if you want. Ball on the foot, we swing through. Right arm outside of the leg, hands in prayer, pull in. we we'll stay here. Very nice, hands are back down, step back again, lower down, up dog, down dog. And right foot or whatever foot you like, stepping into horse so that I, you're facing the proper direction for yourself. We're gonna put the hands on the knees, which I don't think we've done in a little bit. Let the hands be heavy. And on an out breath, we'll rotate the right shoulder forward. And then back up and then the left shoulder forward on an out breath and just a little bit back and forth. Good, back up, let's push the walls out and away today. Excellent, let's stand, turn the feet to run straight forward like railroad tracks, straight up with the hands, straight down into the forward fold, maybe just fingertips on the toe lines, maybe palms down, definitely 
Let the head freely drop. Engage the core on an in-breath, up again, we reach to the ends of the fingers. And then behind the back, we're going to intertwine the fingers, push the palms together if possible. On the next out breath, again, forward folding, lifting the arms up off the back. Light as possible in the toes. Engage the core on the in-breath, touch the ceiling, both hands up. On the out-breath, back down, grabbing uh, shins, ankles, or if possible, big toes with the peace fingers, pulling the elbows out and away from your ears. Both hands over to the right, grabbing the shin, left shoulder under and through. And then over to the other side. Good, and back up and let's stand and you can bring the feet back together and step them out. So we're gonna do a long uh, standing series. We've done it before, we don't do it real often. Don't worry, do the best you can. We're going to stand on the left foot. We're going to lift the right foot. You can grab the ankle and lock it. You can also put that foot out in the front instead of pushing against the leg, just holding it there with the strength of the leg. It's pretty easy. Hands of the heart are all the way up. Your choice. We'll take several breaths here. We're going to go through many modifications of standing on this foot. Good, let's bring that right leg out in front. The left hand's coming all the way over from the other side to grab the knee. Other hand on the hip. You can reach back if you prefer. You can look back. You can grab the big toe extending the leg. You can just stay with the hand on the hip. There will be a couple of breaths. Keep that foot up, bring the hands to the heart center and come forward to uh, warrior uh, number three, as best you can, making a capital letter T with the body of the standing left leg. Left hand down, right arm up, Arda Chandrasana. Switching the hands, hip comes down. All right, let's stand, step it out a little bit. Ooh, I'm having resistance about doing the other side. All right, standing on the right, we're gonna do tree, lifting the left. Hands to the heart if you like. Breathing right here. The leg that is up is coming out in front. It's the left. The right hand comes all the way over from the other side, grabbing the knee or whatever version you did on the other side. We're going to stay here. Keep the foot up, hands in the center, heart forward into. Uh, 
Warrior your three again, but on the other side now on the right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Breathe in. And right hand down, left arm up. And switch the hands if you like. All right, stand and then feet apart a bit. Let's squat. We're going to put the uh, elbows into the legs, pushing uh, the knees out, hands in prayer to the heart, lengthening up the back. We'll take a few breaths right here. You could do headstand or crow if you want. There'll be a few more. And you could hang back if you like, because the rest of us are going into cat and cow. Knees are two fists apart. Feet, uh, well, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. We let the belly drop down. As we breathe out, we arch the back. And then just moving in the head and the back with the breath. Good, back to center, look over the right shoulder, see the tail. And then over to the other side, please. Back to center, we're stepping the right foot top of the mat. We're reaching the arms straight up. You can put that right foot further forward if you care to. We'll take a few breaths right here. We're gonna stay a little longer. Good job staying. I think uh, two people logged out during that standing on one foot thing. <laughs> Stay strong and breathe. You guys got it. You're doing great. And then down on the inside, right hand right inside the right foot, knee pushing against the shoulder. You could walk the hands forward. You could put the elbows down. You could walk them forward and just bend the arms, but keep the leg against the shoulder and we breathe here. I'm looking at the mat, the floor. Good, let's do the other side, right knee back, left foot forward, straight up with the arms. We'll take a few breaths here. And then again, right down on the inside. And now your option to walk the hands forward, beginning to bend the arms till the elbows touch the ground, right next to the ankle. Excellent, step back to hands and knees. We're going to turn the right hand in to face the left. We're gonna take the left arm and feed it all the way through, laying onto the shoulder. The side of your face, we're gonna push the right hand against the mat. You could stay right here. Those of you that prefer can reach that arm up coming around the back and we're just gonna breathe.
Let's come back up. Let's switch it. Left fingers turning on in. Feed the right arm through, laying down again, pushing the hand on the floor or bringing the arm up and around if you prefer. Good, back to center. We're gonna make our way to pigeon by stepping back, top of push-up. We'll lower down, up dog, third eye, down dog. Let's reach the right foot up. Let's bend that leg, opening up the hip. And then let's throw that shin top of the mat. The left leg can scooch further back as we look up. And then hands down, forearms down, or lengthening all the way out. And we're gonna breathe here. All right, hands down, we'll step back. You could shake the leg that was bent if you like. We're lowering down again. Up dog, down dog, left foot up. We we'll hold here. We're gonna bend that leg, opening up the hip. and throw that shin top of the mat, scoot the right leg back. We look to the sky, hands down, unless they're there already, forearms down, head down, breathing. All right, hands down again. We step back, you can shake that leg. One more time, we lower down through the push up. Up dog and down dog. Great, let's sit down. We're gonna do uh, the open version of Jhana Sirsasana. So the left foot is out, toes pointing up. Right foot is uh, right against the left leg, excuse me. If you can hold either the shin, the toes, or even a strap left on left, but now like extended side angle, uh, we're gonna reach the right arm up and over and make sure you can kind of look out or look up and see the ceiling. So your chest and stomach is fully exposed to opening up to the right where the right knee is bent and uh, pointing. We're gonna breathe here. And if you can come down real far, uh, but still maintain the visual of the ceiling along your arm, come down until the hands come together. Good, back up, and we're gonna switch, so uh, right leg out. So right on right, you grab the toes or the shin or belt if you have it, 
and the left palm faces the ceiling and comes up and over. We stay here looking up along the elbow again to the sky. Good, back up. It'll be real easy to bring these soles of the feet together right here for Baddha Konasana. With the uh, soles of the feet together, left hand's gonna grab the small toes, right hand on top. We're gonna sit up really tall. You can butterfly the legs if you like. Shoulders pulling a bit back and down. Good, uh, forward fold, pushing the elbows against the legs, folding the heart towards the big toes. Good, back up. Uh, external hip opening. We're gonna take the right heel and stick it under the left hip. So your right knee is now pointing straight forward. Left foot can come just outside and you can stay right there. If you prefer, right hand grabs the shoelaces and we pull back, sitting up tall. You push the knees down, you could stay here. You can reach the right arm up, bring it down the back, grabbing the elbow. Head pushes back against the arm or you can come around and intertwine the fingers. We're gonna take a few breaths right here. Great, let's do the other side. So we gotta unwrap all that. And then left heel underneath the right hip. So the foot is just pointing out only the heels under the hip. And then that right foot comes either right there or all the way back, grabbing the shoelace. This side, I definitely need to keep the feet down and push and jump a little forward to put the knees over each other. Left arm up, down the back, and grab the elbow. Same as the other side, breathing right here. Good, back around, put the legs out in front of you and shake them around a little bit. We're gonna do our twist. We're gonna bend the right leg, hugging that foot in real close. Left toes remain pointing straight up. Left arm grabs the right leg, right hand behind you. We we'll sit up tall. You can put the elbow outside if you like. You can even straight that arm. We look at the wall, we breathe. Good, let's switch uh, right leg out, left foot in. Right arm comes all the way over, grabbing the left leg, hand behind you. Looking back, breathing.
Good, back around, both legs bent. We're bringing the arms under the legs, rolling back under the tail. You could stay here. You could let go, lock the shoulders back. You could straighten the legs, prayer to a third eye or toes, or legs straight even with the arms out. We're gonna breathe here, one to five. Go across the legs, grab the shin, sit up really tall. And number two, up again. Cross the legs, sit up tall. And number three. Cross the legs, sit up tall again. And number four. Cross the legs, sit up tall. And yes, last one, number five, here we go. All right, let's hug the knees in now and just lie down with the legs just right next to each other. We're gonna pull the shins down and bring the nose up to the knees. You can put the forearms uh, on the legs too and really pull them down so that your uh, hips lift up, stretching the lower back. Good, and then feet down. Uh, we're doing bridge or Urdhva Dhanurasana, feet and knees two fists apart, feet running straight away, straight that way. We're gonna lift the hips, tuck the shoulders, intertwine the fingers and push the arms down. We're gonna stay here and breathe. All right, back down. We're going upside down for those of you that want to come along. We're starting with plow, kicking the feet up and over the head. Hands could be either on the back with the legs straight or intertwined fingers with the arms down. And we're going to stay here. If your hands are not on the back, place them there now. Lift the feet straight up into the sky. Let the weight sit in your elbows and shoulders, breathing in the nose, looking at the toes. And bend the legs, you can stay there. The rest of us are grabbing the feet and lowering into dead bug. In dead bug, the head is down. The knees are in the armpits. You can stay still or rock around. The soles of the feet face on up to the sky. Right, bring the knees into the chest. Just for a moment, pull them down again, and then extend the legs out flat. 
Uh, just one piece, we're gonna lift the uh, right leg up and grab with both hands up towards the heel, nose towards the knee, and we'll stay here doing all we can to hold the left leg down. Good, put that down and then up on the other side. Let that down, both knees up, head stays down, arms out like a T. We're gonna take a breath in. As we breathe out, let the knees fall to the right. As you look to the left, you can put the right hand on the legs if you like. Back up and then on an out breath over to the other side. Back up, hug the knees in, thank yourself for coming out. Tell yourself you did a good job. And we're gonna lay down and get comfortable. If your lower back bothers you, you can have the legs bent. I'm gonna straight out, dropping all the way into the floor, into the earth, letting all the way go. Allowing the breath to return to normal. Allowing, allowing. And we're gonna stay here. You can stay laying down if you like. Those of you that want to come along, we'll move the fingers a little bit and the toes a little bit. We're going to rotate at the wrists and the ankles, maybe. Everything's a maybe except for this next one. Let's reach the hands way above the head so the backs of your hands are on the ground or the mat or the carpet. We're going to lengthen toes to fingers and pull the core down and hold. As you stretch long toes to fingers, we hold the core down. Good, and then bring your knees into your chest and roll yourself up to a comfortable 
seated position for our last couple of moments here. We're gonna bring the hands to the heart center and rub them together. And like a big funnel, receiving everything. We're gonna breathe in through the nose as much as we can get. We're gonna breathe in more through the mouth. More if you can fit it. We're gonna hold the breath, tighten the legs, tighten the core a little bit. And then let it all out. <sighs> You're living your dream, don't miss it, namaste. And thank you so much for joining all of us tonight. It's danieloverberger.com if you want to uh, find the links to my Venmo and PayPal to send donations for this class, which I greatly appreciate. Um, I'm going to properly stop the recording and not accidentally delete everyone out of the meeting like I did on Monday. I hope. We'll see what happens.